were born December 20th, knowing that there may be some type of a problem. And when they were born, I had a C-section. I remember him saying, it's a girl, it's a boy. I was sitting with Sue up by, by her head and uh, kind of peeking over the curtains once in a while to see what was going on. And uh, Johanna came out. Two minutes later, Joe comes out and uh, the doctor looks up at me and said, uh, the leg is also involved. And I think I sat down back in my chair again. And we were just a little, I was more than a little shocked because we didn't know anything about the leg being involved. How are we gonna get him through life the best that we can? What, what can we do to help him? We didn't know at that point. I had a health nurse come in when he was 11 months old, came into our house and met him for about a half an hour and told me he would never told me he would never be able to do anything. And it hurt, but I think it made me more mad. Mike had an uncle that worked in the orthotics, prosthetics, area and he knew of someone up here and he said who also worked at Shriners Hospitals for Children. Talking to the doctors at Shriners Hospitals for Children we come to realize that uh, removal of the foot would be the best thing in order to fit the prosthesis better and make it more user friendly and uh, Joe friendly. Well Joe was born with a condition that uh, is unusual it's uh, where you're born missing certain of the long bones in the body. And it involved all four of his extremities, both the uppers and lowers. Uh, on one leg, he had longitudinal deficiency of the fibula, which is usually a fairly severe structural abnormality where most of these patients end up with uh, a surgery where you have to remove the foot. He also had significant involvement of his hands and his left lower extremity also. Dr. Crandall is our limb deficiency clinic doctor, and I'm a pediatric hand surgeon. And so we were the team that worked with uh, Joe and his family. And that way we could combine the limb deficient surgery that he had on his leg with the uh, separation of the two digits on his hand. And we went in there in the recovery room and this nurse was holding him and he had his, his, his hand wrapped and his leg wrapped, and he had tubes coming out all over. And they were just very reassuring, and uh, you know, it told me everything's gonna be okay. Once we got him uh, fitted with the first prosthesis and this uh, Herschel the Walker we had um, that we got from the hospital, we uh, could see in him that like a light lit up and he was just gone. Dick Neeson, Joe's prosthetist, um, mentioned the uh, Courage Center ski, pro ski program and uh, said that he was involved with it as an instructor. And so we checked it out that fall well, when Joe first came to me as a ski racer, he was using his walking leg for skiing and to um, push his level of competitiveness. Shriners Hospitals for Children partnered with Joe to develop a leg specific for skiing. And the next season he came out with that new leg, he was really able to push his level of competitiveness. I'll be honest, I'm not the only one who sees Joe's potential. He's really caught the attention of some coaches that coach our national team. Um, he definitely has a huge potential to make the national team for the 2018 Paralympics. 
just very happy that I've been able to do as much as I have and I really hope that I can keep doing bigger and better things. Just winning the junior national title is one thing, but winning an overall national title would be really cool. I don't think God gives you anything you can't handle, and we just, with the help of Shriners Hospitals for Children, we uh, have taken it and we're, we're running with it. I can never say a big enough thank you. They took me from being a scared, brand new mom to helping my son achieve his dreams. Shriners Hospitals for Children has been there just as much for me as my family has. They hear about what I'm doing and they're just so happy for me and it's really a big support base there. So thankful for everything Shriners Hospitals has done for me and I'm very honored to be able to give back. Um, I'll never be able to truly thank them for all they've done for me.